We're back. And by now, you know who we are and what we do. And at this point, you probably know what he's going to say next. That's right. Don't try this at home, guys. Just sit back, strap in, and hang on. It's going to be a hell of a ride. <laughs> My, come on. You don't want to do something like, I don't know, celebrate? It'd be nice to see the boys, but I know Bill and all them are busy. Everybody else is backed up. I don't see that happening. Maybe in the summer. Let me know how much it's going to cost me. There are some <laughs> questions that you never, ever want to ask. How is that? Just let that one go, Steph. <laughs> Just let it go. I want to build a special occasion gun. Something that is spectacular. This is one of those guns that I've always wanted to tackle, and I know just the man to get me pointed in the right direction. This is Tony. Tony Rumor, madman. Where are you going with that shotgun? <laughs> it's Will. Hey, Will, what's up, man? Tony Rumor is known as the godfather of the Sega 12. We're coming up on a 10-year uh, business anniversary here, and I'm wanting to do something that uh, just redefines stupid in a gun. You're just building this for fun, I imagine, huh? Yeah, just for kickles, man. But remember that Siamese M16 you did about uh, 8 or 10 years ago? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd never forget that thing. And I was thinking there ought to be a way to include a third M16 in there. Tony took two M16s, joined them together at the receiver, Cross the gas systems so that by pulling the trigger on the bottom unit, it would alternately cycle both units. Well, let me know if you need any advice, Will. I'm here. All right, my brother. Head on back to making a living. <laughs> hey, man. What's up, bro? A few years back, Tony Rumor made a Siamese M16. I remember that. He had an M16, then he had another one inverted over it, and then he crisscrossed the gas system. You pull the trigger once, and you get a two-round burst. Put it on full auto, and it's just stupid. <laughs> we're going to try to one-up Mr. Tony, where instead of two of them, we're going to have three. I want to make a try on these. This is the sickest thing I've ever seen. This is a gun for Darth Vader. What I want is the ultimate range toy. We pull the trigger on the control weapon, which fires it, cycles and fires the second, which cycles and fires the third, which cycles and resets the first. Okay. This will be it. It's three M16s mounted together on one gas system. It all works like this. Yeah, you know, something a little bit outside the box. Hi. I was calling for Jim. I am putting together something kind of special for Dad. It's uh, Red Jacket's 10-year anniversary. Good food, good fun, some guns, bestest of buds type things, which is why you're on the phone. <laughs> uh, okay. no, sorry, I thought I heard him coming. I don't want him to know about it. That's the whole like big thing with it. Now, my vision is have them laid out like a upside-down triangle. Joe, from you, the gas system. The key to the gas system on the Trimies M16 is precision alignment of those gas tubes. Without that, they'll simply blow out of place when you try to fire the weapon. Y'all knock it out. Hi, bro. Just trying to figure out the gas system, the rest of the boys are working on a mounting for this contraption. I really need Vince and Joe to step up and knock this one out of the ballpark. Well, it'll be a chance for me to finally one-up Tony. Anybody's got to be able to see that three's much better than two. Hey, Joe. Hey, Josh. Hey, Tom. Hey. This is kind of late notice. However, after talking to the rest of the guys, it does look like I'm going to have a pretty nice crowd for Sunday. Awesome. Awesome. That's done. What's done? Steph said get the word out about the Red Jacket anniversary. Did you send private emails or did you put it on a message board? I don't have anybody's private emails. Dude, we're gonna have like a thousand people, half the internet show up, man. Hello, McFly, are you in there on the Red Jacket message board? Are you serious? It's an anniversary party, what do you want? It'll be okay then, man. Dude, we got work to do, man, finish that up, come on. Hey, guys. Hey. Yeah, what you got? We got an 1860 more revolver. It doesn't want to cock back. I bet you 
right up in there. It's just gonna be a piece of debris. I have no idea what's in that gun. You wanna get it broke? No, I really don't. I mean, the action internally is exactly the same as the old cap and ball guns. And some could be wedging the hammer springs, keep it out flexing, or just be sure you match up a screw driver head to that real, real carefully. And the screw's gotta go back in the same holes. Well, this is one of those moments that would almost be funny if it wasn't so not funny. When Will asked us to build a Trimies M16, I thought it was a really cool idea. I just wasn't sure exactly how we were going to make it work. Like, I want to smile and laugh about how ridiculous this project like is. Like a Shakespearean tragedy type of thing? Yeah. Yeah. This project is a joint effort. While I'm turning down the barrels and customizing the gas blocks, Joe's figuring out a way to make this gas system work. But he couldn't get to work until I got my part done, and I'm just swamped right now. Looking at this thing, I'm not sure I can get this done. What yeah. time frame are we looking at on this? Dude, I've got about two days allotted for this, and we've already blown a half a day getting it to you here. You serious? And I've got to get back into production. It's cutting it close, man, with the amount of time, fab time I might have into this thing. Uh, I don't think I can do this in that time, man. Huh? We've only got a couple of days to get this Trimies built, and I think we need some help with it. All right, look, you know what? You stay hot on this. I'm going to call in some reinforcements. I, mean, I, I really didn't think did, we'd get this bogged down at this stage of it. All right, man. Hi, how can I help you? Good. I have a gun. OK. <laughs> OK. <laughs> With most women in the industry, you're looked at as the counter girl. You know, the pretty face to say hello and answer the phones. Here at Red Jacket, it's not like that. I don't want to know if that's a good gun for home protection. You know what this thing is? Oh. Remington 1890. 44, it's a black powder gun. So if you put any regular ammunition in it, uh, you're probably going to blow the front of it apart. Oh, whoa. Still whip. I don't know, man. I could kind of... Charlie, open up. No. No. Uh -uh, no. You said I could have that round, so... I guess I should. Who found the tooth? That would be me. Your bullet. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody got pistol whipped with this thing. <laughs> it's entirely possible. Oh, Deputy Fife, there's your one round. That's this gun right. probably hadn't been fired in over 100 years. Major bonus points if you hit the target. Hey. <laughs> Ready, Charlie? All right, Deputy Fife, you and your one shot. Maybe that was an omen, dude. No, it's fine. Really, just, just shoot the thing. I don't know, I just want this thing to work. Hey, hit it with a lead mallet or something. Uh, give it a try. If this doesn't work, uh, we'll get a rubber band. We'll see if we can give it a little, <laughs> bring a little extra power. One hey. more time, dude. Oh. All right, that's it. Firing mechanism works, it just doesn't have enough juice, or the round's bad. It's, hey, it's toothless. <laughs> When Tony built his Siamese, and I didn't want to step on his work, in his own words, give me a call if you run into any snags, I'll be glad to help you out. Hey, Tony. Hey, Will, what's up, man? Well, I remember that Siamese M16 you made back uh, eight or 10 years ago. Yeah, I'd never forget that thing. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something about a Triamese. It occurred to me, though, as long as I'm uh, hijacking your idea, maybe I'd do better to just hijack you along with it. What do you think? All right, hell yeah, it'll be a good time. Thanks, Tony. You the man, bro. Yeah, sounds good, Will. Okay, that's a little hinky. 
Frankly, I want to know what they got planned for the ride home. I'm going to lay back and just let this one play out. That's my... Oh, that's your birthday gun. That's my birthday gun. He tell you all about Month this? And date. He found a uh, Romanian parts kit that had the uh, his, the serial number is exactly his entire birthday written so out. Cool, he, well, John, you're looking kind of lonely down there. Hey, Amanda got me a anniversary present. I'm going to try it out. I was down here. A little gift for my wife. Oh, my God. God, you didn't. John Brady brought along a brand new Desert Eagle 44 Magnum. Every gun geek in the world's heard about the kick of these mules. Now we got one on the ground to play with. <laughs> she either really loves you or is really tired of you having a functioning right arm. Yeah, she puts that with me. Shoot, grab them up. Y'all got y'all got a few minutes before you got ahead? Yeah. Sure. Steph, we'll be back in a minute. We're going in the lane. I'm not sure if this car show excuse is actually gonna work or not. But at least the guys brought along a Desert Eagle. Nothing like one of the most powerful handguns known to man to distract Dad. Looks like I got pretty lucky this time. God, it's beautiful, man. Well, quit slobbering on it. Try it out. today. Brought a couple of guns to shoot. To shoot? Some kind of anniversary shoot or something like that. Oh, God. That wasn't supposed to come out yet. I saw it on the message board. Dad's not supposed to know about this. Oh, it's a surprise. Yes. <laughs> Glenn comes in all the time with guns, but he could definitely slip up and say something. I've got to get him out of here. You know, I really do make a good suppressor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but if you don't get out of here pretty quick, Dad's gonna realize something's up. All right, guys, let me go get this stuff locked up and let y'all get on down to the car show. Okay. If you don't get out of here, we're probably gonna be in trouble. Hi, Vince. This is absolutely terrifying. Oh. <laughs> How's life, baby? <laughs> Dad's not supposed to know about this. Oh, it's a surprise. Yes. Oh, uh, I'm okay. having fun trying to keep it that way. Chris put the anniversary special on the website. How am I supposed to surprise Dad if everybody in the country knows? I'm sorry to say, but if you don't get out of here pretty quick, Dad's going to realize something's up. All right, guys. Let me go get this stuff locked up and let y'all get on down to the car show. Come back tomorrow. All right. Okay. I'll see you then, babe. Thanks a lot. It's my 10th anniversary. I want to build a special occasion gun. I want to make a try at these. I think we need some help with it. I'm going to go straight to the man himself that started it all with the Siamese. I think I better get Tony Rumor to come on down and give us a hand in the doing of it. Hey, Vince. Yeah. Remember uh, climbing up my ass about needing some help with this try -mese? Yeah, most certainly so. Hey, Tony Rumor. Tony? Hey, man. Joe Moe, nice to meet Joe? you, man. Tony Rumor. Vince Buggles. Good nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tony Rumor is really... A gun god. I mean, if anybody can show Will something on guns, it's Tony. Well, I figured as long as I was stomping all over Tony Rumor's invention, idea, and slandering his good name, I'd get him to come help you. If we can get this thing done before his carriage turns into a pumpkin, we can take him out and let him uh, bust it up. Have a Tony on the ground here helping us build out this trimies. Well, it's an honor, both to uh, myself and to the shop. When I did the, the Siamese twin barrel, they were mounted like this. Mm -hmm. Pretty straightforward, because the gas tube just came down into yeah. that one, and this one came up into that gun. But uh, here with three, of course, you got to span a lot further distance, because you've got to go all the way over. If at any time one gas tube fails, then the cycle will stop. Joe's dancing around the shop like Michael Flatley from Lord of the Dance. Wow. There you go, Joe. All better. I love it when the other guys get hurt. That's probably one of the most painful things that's ever happened to me. <laughs> hey, darling. How you doing? Still? Got a call that you got to fix? Sure did. Just when I think I've seen it all, 
I have a guy come in with a Civil War pistol that won't cock. Guys take it apart, and guess what? There's a tooth inside. A tooth? Really? That's what we found inside of it. That'd be why it wasn't working. I know what that is. I'm a dentist, and uh, I would recognize a tooth. I have a hard enough time Tooths. pulling these things out. I can't imagine trying to get that in there. <laughs> Can I keep the two? It's yours. You don't see these every day? No, no. Other than that, she's yours. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> what are you? I don't really think uh, he was going to worry about it too much. Thank you, ma'am. Entertainment value, man. <laughs> Have a good one. Appreciate it. Dude, this is awesome. When I finally got the guns mounted, I could turn it over to Joe to do the gas system. It looked like a space cannon on the Death Star. It was great. Oh, I'm holding it. But did you do? Hi, Vince. Hey, you really got to look at it from this side, Will. This looks freaking sick, dude. Looking down the barrel of one gun, that's one thing. Looking down the barrel of three, damn. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? it? Seemed like we started last week. It's been quite the interesting road. Stephanie's been my right hand man since she could walk. When we started up the store, she was working in the bookkeeping department at a supermarket chain. I went up to Stephanie's work one day, asked her if she would like to take her entire future and that of her child, throw it up into the air, wrapped around a pair of dice labeled Red Jacket Firearms, and come on board with me. She looked me in the eye, said, I need about two minutes so I can go quit. And that's when Red Jacket really began, all right, with me and Stephanie in the shop, day in and day out. During that entire time period, I lived in the back of the shop. Stephanie was raising her son, newborn. She was in the office every day up front, working with customers at the counter. We built guns, we kept the shooting range going. And if you look at where it's taken us, I'd say that's worked out okay for us. Thanks to Tony, we were able to get... We only got one. Oh, the gas tube came out. Pull that back. The gas tube slid forward. The gas tube is getting pushed forward from the extreme pressure, and it's moving away from the bolt, and the bolt can't cycle. The whole point of this project is to be able to shoot three bullets out of three guns sequentially. If that's not happening, Tony's wasted his time and came out here for nothing. Are we ready to fire? All ready. That one's gone, too. Okay, that's oh, man, definitely Tony, not going to work. Is... All the tubes have slid forward. We have to take it back. we got to have this gun up tomorrow. I mean, it's got to be running tomorrow. This is a uh, first generation, huh? First that's, generation Colt? That's the one I told you about. Uh, only gun I inherited from my grandfather. Oh, that's no. a cool piece, man. I've got, I've got some good ones. Josh used to work here with us at Red Jacket. Uh, he's got a great gun collection. Uh, always a fun guy to have come down and visit. Picked it up a few years ago, and y'all told me to bring some classic toys to play with. Hmm. Here we are. I saw it was Red Jacket's 10th anniversary. I told you it would work. Joe needs to learn how to listen to me sometimes. I know what I'm doing. I know what's going on. Just needs to learn how to listen sometimes. Now I feel better. Hell yeah. They ain't moved out us any closer. Oh, you look beat half to death. How'd the trip go? It's good. Yeah, yeah, we got machinery coming. Yeah? Dude, people know us. I'm outside at the rest area taking pictures with tourists for 30 <laughs> minutes. Oh, my All God. All right, I'm trying to get a Coke and drive. <laughs> oh, hey, you're, you're the sons of guns. Hey, my husband loves the show. Come here, come here, you know. Here, hold my kid. I felt like I was running for office. <laughs> It's incredible, That's man. Cool. I mean, I had an 80, I swear to God, 89-year-old woman. I love that show. Oh. Your daughter is so sweet. Oh, you be so nice cool. to her. She keeps you going. <laughs> That's cool. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh. I think they're ready. <laughs> That's a nasty sight. 
Don't shoot, I surrender. <laughs> this thing's sweet. Looks good painted up, huh? Yeah. We took three M16s, mounted them together, shared the gas system, so we can take three chambers out of three rifles, fire them sequentially and continuously. That's a nasty sight. It is ready to roll. <laughs> Chris, how many betas you got loaded? Seven. <laughs> That'll do. Yes, sir. Oh, who the hell did that? Uh, happy anniversary. Congratulations on 10 years, Will. Oh, guys. Well, I had Kathy draw up something and had a banner done. I don't like none of you. You're all fired. We don't like you either, Will. Okay. I don't even know your name, Tony. <laughs> Daddy's about to cry. Man, that's too much. I stared at that gun for three days, Will. For three days, man. And I just, I had to do it. Next time, resist those impulses. But this time, you lost that. <laughs> <laughs> if you think it's a money-making enterprise, if you think it's just about making the firearms, sorry you're wrong. That's not what it's about. That's not what we're about. What I'm about is the people here that you see right now under this roof. That's who we are, that's who we're here for. Well, they ain't over yet. You remember uh, Port Hudson, right? Yeah. We're gonna go out there, figure we'd get your closest friends and uh, some really cool toys and just have at it. Horses, I promise. <laughs> It's a glorious day. I got my best friends, got my family. Hell, what else is there? Well, guys, happy anniversary to me. Yes, sir. <laughs> We've laid out a few party favors for your perusal and enjoyment. Help yourself. Pistol shooters, please approach your handguns. This is the best anniversary present I could have possibly given Dad. I've got all of his best friends. Best use for a Louisiana highway cone I have seen. <laughs> Y'all want to fall in over there and watch the boys have a little fun on the bell feds? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's light them up. All right, Big Daddy, let's go to war. Fire. Unleash hell. Woo! That's pretty slick, man. That worked. You are <laughs> the <laughs> man. Yeah, about Seriously. That, about that. <laughs> My God, that was about an experience. That. And it was like strapping on a roller coaster and taking off down the hill with it. That is a beast. <laughs> Let's get some fresh mags in and get Tony up here. The gun's working great. Perfect. The only problem I see, I think Will has a quad knees in my future. <laughs> oh, my God. This next idea of mine is going to bring down the house. Hey, Dad, think you can hit that thing? Do we really get a house to blow up? My baby girl knows how to throw a party for her daddy, huh? Bye-bye. Uh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed with a beautiful family and with some truly beautiful friends.